Hello. If you're a business who sells products and you would like to sell them on Facebook and Instagram, you will need a catalog. I'm going to show you how you can create that catalog within your business manager and all the benefits it will bring to your advertising or the creation of your shop for your organic feeds. So first of all, to be able to create the catalog, you will need to have a business manager and be an admin on the Facebook page. So I've opened up my personal Facebook page here in one window and then in another tab I'm going to type in business.facebook.com and assuming you have a business manager already set up for your business manager and it's connected you will be able to jump into your business manager quite quickly. So I'm just going to connect select uh, a business for demonstration purposes today. So from within Business Manager, I go to the menu and select Commerce Manager. So here, it I've got a number of catalogues already set up, so they're here in the list. But if you've not done this before, it will be blank, but you will have two options that are mentioned here under your assets. One will be about adding a shop and the other will be about adding your catalogue. So to be able to enable your shop, you actually need a catalog. So you need to start with with this, the add catalog button. And I'm just going to click there and show you what happens. So it brings up a range of catalog types. So if you're in the e-commerce space, it's most likely that this is the one you want to choose. But Facebook does support other kind of industries. So it could be um, multiple products that are to do with travel, house sales, car sales, ticket sales, this kind of thing. So I'm going to just choose e-commerce and then click next. And you're then given two options. So, so I'm going to um, make sure I've got the catalog owner as the business that is the one that I'm working with. So that's the game, that's right. And then you can give yourself a catalog name. So I'm just going to call that test uh, and leave it like that, but call it what you want, probably just your business name um, and feed, something like that. Uh, so the two options that you have here are upload product info, add your items manually or in bulk or use your Metapixel. Or there is this connection, which is shown straight away to connect to a partner platform. So for demonstration, I'm just going to go via this route just to show you all the options. Uh, but if you are a user of something like Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, um, Squarespace, Shop, that kind of thing, then it's worth just going straight through on this option here. And it literally walks you through the steps. But to show you the other options, I'm going to select Upload Product Info and I'm going to click Create. And then I click View Catalog. So at this stage, all it's doing is creating a shell for your for your feed. So to actually add items to your to your feed, if you click on Add Items here, it brings up the options to start adding items into your feed. So there are four choices. So if you're a business that's only got a handful of products, then manual is one of the um, easiest and quickest way to do it. It actually allows you just to uh, fill out a form and you've got all of your fields preset here. So you can just Add, add one line at a time for each of your items and then Facebook will be able to take it from there. You just click upload items and off you go. So if you've only got a handful, then that might be a quick and simple way to do things. If you want to know more about it, just click on learn more and really handy sort of instructions and tips come up here on the right. So just use that to help you. Then there is data feed. And if I click next on that one, it's essentially an option to use a, a, a spreadsheet that you can keep 
up to date outside of Facebook, but then Facebook will be able to draw upon on a regular basis and you'd literally be able to set sort of, do you want that to happen daily, weekly, monthly, that kind of thing, depending on how much your catalog tends to change for your for your business. And, and then that uh, is sort of something that's quite straightforward to manage outside of the platform, but can be connected up to Facebook. And it will be something like a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet. So that again, if you if you want um, instructions on that, it 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 helps you on the left hand side. So I'm just going to go back, learn more on the data feed. Yeah, that's where you get all the instructions to follow. Then the third option here, which as I said before, is highly preferable, if you've got a Shopify website or any of these other providers, then definitely just choose your provider and then to complete setup, it will take you, um, it will basically guide you on what to do next. So with Shopify, you actually have to go into Shopify and I'm gonna show you how that works. I've actually got a Shopify window up and ready to sort of show you that in a minute. Uh, if I chose WooCommerce, Yep, it takes you off to your actual site and it will probably, um, well, I know it involves adding an app. Certainly with Shopify, it involves adding an app, uh, the Facebook app and following the steps there, which so that it all connects up to Facebook from that side. And then you come back in here and you just um, confirm that that's all done and the connection will be made. So I'm just gonna go back to the fourth option which is pixel. So this uh, is, so if none of those providers are familiar to you in, uh, so your website, uh, your shop, your business is not set up on any of those providers, then this is um, a slick way of managing it automatically as well. So it's driven via your pixel. So I'm not gonna be able to show you um, how this is done, but, you would just be selecting your pixel and then clicking next and following the steps. Again, the instructions are, oh, I've now lost my way, bear with me a moment. Um, there we go, add items, so pixel, um, so we're back to here. So what I'm going to do is just click on, um, I'm going to click on an existing catalogue that I've got to just for demonstration. So once you've followed one of these steps, it will create a catalogue for you. And I'm going to bring up one that I know is live here. And this has been connected up via Shopify. And you have a, a summary overview screen and you will be able to see it will flash up all of the complications. And unfortunately, typically when you load up a product feed, there are complications. So it will show you which ones uh, might have violated policy. Um, why, catalogs that are not showing in your shops, event data sources have errors. So it's really helpful. It just brings up all of the kind of um, review items. You can actually see what's been affected in each of the categories. So if anything's violated policies, then you can sort of see details and it'll tell you what the complications are. If there are things where you think, you don't really understand why there's a problem and you're pretty sure you've checked all of the policies, you can actually send it off to review. And, you know, when the catalog is uh, created and added, it, it will be a automated setup. But if you click review, then it's gonna go off to some a team of people who will actually be able to check that for you or it will go through another AI, but essentially it gives you a second chance to get get some of the items reviewed. So 
Items here on the menu is where you will be able to see all listed, all of your products that have come through from your website, to whichever way that you've added your collection, your catalog. And you can click on issues to see your issues. You can click on data sources just to clarify here. It's a Shopify feed, so it says all good. Uh, and you can click on um, events as well, which will just show you ma any matters about the events uh, on your catalogue. So you, in, once you've got your catalogue here, it's just fantastic for your advertising. It means you'll be able to create a shop for your organic pages on Instagram and Facebook. You'll be able to create a catalog ad, catalog ads and dynamic product ads. And you'll be able to create product sets for mini collections within your catalog to promote, which is what you do here. All of these topics we will be covering in future videos or they may already be in the library. So do go and search there. Any questions that you don't and you're not sure of with this video, then please just contact us via the blue button and we'll see how we can help you further.